Hello, and welcome to NetSuite refresher number one. What transaction is appropriate? Have you noticed that in NetSuite, there are a lot of screens and there are a lot of modules, and sometimes that be can become overwhelming. And when we need to enter transactions into NetSuite, it may become a habit to enter them in the way that we know best. So do you find yourself going to the make journal entry screen a lot and entering a line by line debit and credit for your transaction? Well, there may be a better screen for you to use that has more advantageous results for you. Today, we're going to talk about NetSuite, NetSuite modules and screens. And we have two objectives that you should that should be met by the end of this training. Number one is to understand the advantages of using NetSuite modules and screens for various types of transactions. Number two, to be able to determine when to use NetSuite screens and when it's better to use basic journal entries. Now, we will not be teaching today about how to use each of these NetSuite modules and screens in detail. We will just be looking at how to know when to use what type. What is a NetSuite screen? A NetSuite screen is a screen in NetSuite that captures all of the information related to a particular type of transaction. So as you can see, this is a enter bill screen. So it's a vendor bill screen where you can enter all the information related to the bill. Once that is entered, it captures all of this information in a transaction record and posts it into the general ledger in a debit and credit format. So you do not need to enter the debits and credits and a lot of the, the detailed information, but that information comes from what you fill out in the screen. This is a donation cash sales screen. Now, as you can see, it has a field for the donor or customer. So all of the information tied to that donor or customer that you select will be attached to this donation record once it is posted. There's also a lot of other fields for other information like related to receipts, related to the fund development representative or the payment method. This is an expense report screen. Any employee can fill out an expense report screen. They do not need to be an accountant. Once they have filled out all of the information, it is sent to the RC owner or their supervisor for approval. Once it, the expense is approved, then it will be posted to the general ledger. What is a journal entry screen? A journal entry screen is a line by line transaction where you enter all of the information related to that transaction. So there's this, you enter the account, the debit or credit amount, a description, and then all of the segmentation, such as the responsibility center, the location, the CPR designation, et cetera. You enter it line for line, debit and credit. There are six advantages of NetSuite modules and screens of using them instead of a basic journal entry. Number one is complete information. Using NetSuite modules and screens for specific transaction types allows you to capture information completely, such as complete segmentation or vendor and customer information, which is tied to your record, donor information. And for donations, all of the information that you enter in the donation screen will carry through into MPDX. That does not happen if you enter a donation through a journal entry. The second advantage is correct information. All information related to inventory can be entered through inventory screens. It will allow you when you buy and sell inventory to keep track of quantities and to there are a lot of useful inventory reports that you can utilize in NetSuite if you use inventory screens. 
the same thing for fixed assets. The third advantage is correct processes. There are a lot of automatic processes in NetSuite, such as taxes, exchange rates, and assessments that are based on amounts that are entered into specific screens. For example, for a donation, when you enter a donation in the donation cash sale screen, an assessment amount is automatically calculated and posted alongside of the donation. Clear processes is the fourth advantage. The NetSuite screens are simple to use. You fill in blank fields. Multiple users can input data. Any employee can fill out an expense report. Or you can have donation processors and accounts payable specialists that don't need to understand other parts of financial management. The fifth advantage is authorization by a responsibility center owner. All expenses that are entered into NetSuite via uh, the correct screen or module will be routed to the proper responsibility center owner or the person in charge of managing that responsibility center. And that person can approve that expense. The last advantage is better reports. If we have complete information, correct information, correct processes, clear processes, and proper authorization, we will have better reports, which will allow us to lead better with information. Let's look at some common transaction types that should be entered using NetSuite screens. The first is vendor bills. So now I'm in NetSuite, I'm in the enter bill screen, and you can see that I have filled out my vendor, an invoice number, and other information. I've selected an expense category, and that automatically filled out the correct account. And I put in the amount, which automatically filled out my tax rate, which for Endora is 0%. I selected the responsibility center to charge Jesus Film DVDs, and that automatically filled in the RC owner, who's David Lutens. The responsibility center also automatically filled in the segmentation, the CPR designation and restriction class. So when I save this bill, it will be routed to David Lutens for his approval of this expense, and then it will be posted after he approves. Another type of transaction that should be entered using NetSuite screens are expense reports. All expenses, whether they are invoices to be entered via the enter bill screen or reimbursements to be entered via ex the expense report screen should be entered via a screen. That way they will be routed to the appropriate person who can authorize them. Fixed asset transactions should also be entered via the fixed asset module. This is a report of all of my fixed assets in Andorra. And I was able to generate this report because I have used the fixed asset screens to enter the acquisitions and depreciation, et cetera, related to fixed assets. Bank deposits and transfers are very easy to use in those particular screens in NetSuite. This is a bank deposit. And as you can see, there is a list at the bottom of the screen of all of my um, undeposited cash. And I'm able to select which funds that I would like to deposit into the bank. And my total is up above. I select the bank account to deposit them to, and then I save. It's very simple. Donations and sales should be entered via the donation cash sale screen or other donations or other type of donation screen in NetSuite. It will capture a lot of critical information that would be passed through to NBDX. And assessments are automatically calculated. Here's a 10% assessment and posted. This is, the, this is the GL impact from this transaction. 
inventory transactions should definitely be entered via a NetSuite screen. This is an inventory item for the four laws books attached to a specific responsibility center and also specific accounts for income and expense have been attached to this item so that when there are transactions on this item, the proper debits and credits will be made. You can also attach your sales and your pricing information to an item. And when items are sold and purchased, it will track the quantities and also the warehouse location. Let's look at some specific examples and together we can determine what type of screen or journal entry we should use for each situation. What should we do when we need to replenish the petty cash? How do we record those little expenses? We should use an expense report or expense reports if there are multiple responsibility centers because each of those expenses needs to be authorized by the appropriate RC owner. What about payroll? Payroll should be entered as a journal entry because NetSuite does not have a payroll module. We use payroll software to calculate our payroll and process our payroll, and then we should import it as a journal entry, hopefully as a CSV, so you, do, you don't have to add in hundreds of lines by hand. <laughs> Income and expenses on the bank statement, such as interest expense and bank fees. The bank reconciliation screen in NetSuite has the ability to add in these small income and expense amounts. However, it does not add in segmentation. So if the amount is significant, you should enter it as a journal entry so that we can capture all of the segmentation information. Transmittal items received in IT Clear RC. These should be entered as a journal entry so that you can transfer them from IT Clear to the appropriate RC as a journal entry. Transmittal items initiated would depend on the transmittal item type. So if it is an expense that's being forwarded or a donation that's being forwarded, it can be done from the interbill expense report or donation cash sale screen. If it is a subsidy to be forwarded or income that is being forwarded other income that is being forwarded, you would need to do that via a journal entry. Receipt of transmittal payments into the bank account should be done via a journal entry that mirrors the receipt of cash into your bank account. Transfer from account 1311 to your bank account. Corrections and adjustments. This would depend on the transaction type. There are some transaction types where you can go into that particular screen and with one button, you can do a correction or a reversal or a refund. With other types of corrections and adjustments, you would need to do a journal entry. So to recap, the advantages of NetSuite screens are complete information, correct information, correct processes, clear processes, authorization, and better reports so that you can lead with information. So that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Now go take your learning to the next level. Go take the quiz that is located in your dashboard and see how you did. Join the NetSuite Refreshers Forum on Workplace to discuss this week uh, training and connect with others who are also taking it. Here's the link, or you can click on the link in your dashboard. Then post a response in the forum to this question. Are there any transaction types you are entering incorrectly into NetSuite? What are the advantages of entering them correctly? How will you improve your process? And then comment on at least one other person's post to get the conversation going. Thank you and have a great day.